nature is a very dynamic thing. What you think of as stable or unchanging habitat actually is a result of dynamic processes. This may look like grassland behind you, but actually the things that keep it a grassland are what we call ecosystem processes. And they can include grazing, which in the North American plains would have been the bison coming through, eating that grass, grazing and moving on, wallowing and moving on. Also fire is a very dynamic component of, of a landscape. Drought and wet cycles, and that changes how much grows and what can grow and where it can grow. Those processes are what keeps a grassland a grassland. And if you take away the grazing, or if you take away the fire, they actually start to change. Trees like aspen will grow. They sucker out from the roots, and they get bigger and bigger and bigger, and they will slowly encroach on the grasslands. But if you've got an active grazing, periodic fires, such as have always occurred in this part of the continent, that actually allows the grasses to dominate the system. This grassland actually supports many unique species of birds that have evolved with this grass. Sprague's pipit, chestnut collared long spur, baird sparrow, there's a long list of species that only breed here and they, they, they use this grassland and in fact they complete their entire life cycle within the Great Plains. It's very sad, we've lost the bison, we've lost one of those main processes, but we can, through cattle ranching, cattle grazing, try to mimic what the bison used to do. For us in, at Bird Studies Canada and others who are working on threatened grassland species that are in steep declines, we actually need those ecosystem processes to keep the grasslands in grass. <laughs>